Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome back to Patriot Specialized, everybody. Thanks for tuning in today. Got that tank delivered yesterday. You saw on the last episode I was struggling with uh, <laughs> those guys didn't, uh, those guys were told to report at 11 o'clock. Nobody told us that. So we ended up getting in and getting unloaded about 1230. Got out of there about 1, 1 ish, something like that. Ran over to the other side of Atlanta to Hoshton, Georgia. I think that's how you say it. Uh, got picked up. Those guys were super cool. I appreciate I know a couple of them guys are watching the channel, and I appreciate you guys uh, hanging out and waiting for me. And uh, we got this bulldozer loaded up, and we are going to cover that on this episode. So stick around. So, oh man, uh, a little adventure yesterday with uh, getting that tank delivered. And man, I ran my butt off, fought with Atlantic traffic, got over, got, uh, I pulled in for pickup at about, I think I got there about 5.30. They told me if I got in the gate by six that we were good, but their gate automatically closes at six o'clock. You can't get in, but you can get out the gate. You just drive up to the gate and it'll automatically open for you, but you can't get in. So they said, you got to be in the gate by 6 o'clock, and I was, man, I ran my little butt off. Uh, got over there, got in there about 5.30. You're going to see that here in a second. Man, it was uh, it was interesting. I tried out, a, 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 I put my camera inside the uh, bulldozer while I was putting it up on, and I got I to gotta tell you, man, this bulldozer was as old as I am, and it took me a minute to figure out how to run the thing and get it, and you'll see some different shots um, when I'm in there. You'll see me looking around, looking back and forth, left and right. What I'm doing there is I'm watching those tracks on both sides to make sure they stay even with the uh, the edge of the trailer. So currently in Cartersville, Georgia, just about 35 miles away from pickup, getting goes to bath this morning. It's about 6.45, actually about 7.10 in the morning, getting goes to bath because uh, it desperately needs it. This was terrible. I couldn't see out of the mirrors, couldn't see out of the, like, oh man, this salt is just terrible. So kind of pointless probably i think i'm gonna run right back into it looking like another storm's coming across into pennsylvania and ohio so probably gonna run right back into it tomorrow but uh you know it, it will make me feel better for today i guess so <laughs> stick around and uh here's the here's the footage of guys want me to look at my motor um stick around here's the footage of us getting this bulldozer loaded up last night and i uh, hope you enjoy talk to you soon
<laughs> well, well, well. So, I was doing a great job of uh, possibly making delivery today. I got this bulldozer picked up last night. I talked about that a minute ago. I was doing a great job. I'm right on time to make it to delivery. And I had about, I was going to make it there about 4.30, I thought. Get this bulldozer delivered tonight before it starts snowing. Get out to the truck stop, get a nice meal. And then if it snowed too bad, I could just wait it out in the morning. No big deal. Well, <laughs> the universe hates me. And now, a couple different problems. So I'll go out and show you the problem. <laughs> I'm currently sitting on the side of Route 79 in West Virginia. Waiting on somebody to come rescue me. <laughs> Hang on a second. I'll be right back. All right, I'm going to try to do this. There's kind of a little bit of traffic here. I'm going to try to do this uh, without getting run over. All right. Man, man, oh, man. Much cars coming here. We uh, definitely not having the best day today so there's my fender setup my half fenders on my truck I look pretty good right it's a beautiful thing and there's that lost the drive tire Ugh, proved to be a little bit too much Took the bracket out, took the front bracket out completely, just broke it completely off. Bent this bracket, which holds the middle of the fender. I'm not even sure we can fix that. Maybe. There's my tire that blew. Shred it out pretty good. And then, took out my back fender as well, my mud flap. Luckily enough, didn't get in the airbag or anything. I managed to get her pulled over and get stopped. Hmm. Now I'm about to do something to bend that thing out of the way. Get it back in the middle. Cause it's, uh... Yeah, it's gonna rub that tire. Let's see if I got a socket, just take that thing off. Get back in the truck here, I'll be right back. Worst part about this, I think, <clears throat> is uh i've been sitting here for 45 minutes or almost an hour and my shop hasn't called me back with and you know, they found somebody to come fix this tire that might not be good might not be good so see what happens here i'll let you know in a minute Well, there you have it uh, tire is replaced the fender and mud flap uh, hopefully if this weather doesn't stop me uh, we're gonna run this thing up to the shop tomorrow afternoon and see about getting that stuff fixed I don't know if the fender is gonna get fixed tomorrow or not I guess it's a little bit more involved than just something that can be done real quick um, hopefully we'll get a mud flap on or whatever uh, but looks like we're gonna try to handle that tomorrow. Uh, we'll see what happens. Probably bleed into Monday, I'd imagine. But we'll see what happens. The bigger problem right now is because I didn't make delivery today and get the heck out of Pennsylvania, there's a snowstorm coming in tonight. 
And Pennsylvania already has travel restrictions up. Already has travel restrictions for empties, uh, empty trucks and with trailers on I-80. Doubles and triples, or doubles anyways, are restricted all over the place. Um, oversize is restricted for any tier. Uh, oversize is also restricted, so uh, this, I don't know. They're not calling for a lot of snow uh, by tomorrow morning. So I am currently sitting in, I ran up to Mount Morris, Pennsylvania, and I think what I'm going to do is... Uh, is in the morning, if it's not too bad, I'm one mile from West Virginia. West Virginia has no restrictions whatsoever. Pennsylvania is the only one applying any restrictions right now. I think what I'm going to do is run back south to into, Pen into West Virginia, where it's not restricted. If the roads are good enough, I'm not. I'm not taking any chances on these roads. But uh, if the roads are good enough, I'll run back south. I'll catch 68, run across 68, and up 43. There's no travel restrictions on 43 in Pennsylvania as of right now. I have to look again in the morning. That could change. So uh, hopefully there won't be any restrictions there, and the roads will be good enough, and I can get this thing in there and get delivered. And then, uh, oh, try to get out of PA before they restrict empties all over the place. Um, hopefully the roads are good enough. Uh, we'll see. See what happens. So. You know, it is what it is. This is trucking. Oh man, I hate this on a Friday. Uh, just, I don't like it any time, but especially not on a Friday. But, uh, you know, it, the, this is the way the cookie crumbles, and you got to take the good hits with the bad hits, and uh, kind of got them both this week. So, <laughs> it's uh, the weather. Weather has been the theme of this week. The, the theme of these episodes is just weather. Man, this weather. All of a sudden, winter showed up and just kind of like keeps coming and going. So. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Again, as always, uh, if you like what you see, please hit that like button. Uh, if you, if you want to see more, subscribe to the channel. I appreciate that. I like watching these numbers grow. Uh, if you uh, if you got something you'd like to see or a comment, you think I'm right or wrong about something or something you'd like to see, make a comment below. Uh, I enjoy seeing it. I try to I get back to everybody as quick as possible. I think you can see that uh, if you look through our uh, my comments on my episodes. So. Uh, I appreciate everybody commenting. Uh, it's a great group of people we got going right now. Like everybody's uh, very interactive and uh, always got good comments. So I, I very much enjoy it. And I appreciate everybody that uh, gets involved and, uh, and lets me know what they think. So we will talk to you guys on the next one. Hopefully, I, I mean, I'll probably shoot some video tomorrow morning. Um, hopefully, I'll be shooting video tomorrow morning with a smile on my face. Uh, we'll see what happens. Talk to you guys on the next one. Stay safe.